All right, so guys, this is number two out of 9.6, and it says uh, use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown side of the right triangle. So <clears throat> here's our triangle over here, and I want you to notice that here is my right angle. So remember, the side opposite the right angle, this is going to be my C, okay? And then whichever side we call A and B is not really important, but say we call this side A and we call this side B. So remember, in the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean theorem says A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So just the way I've labeled it, we're going to call A 7. So A is going to be 7. That's going to be 7 squared plus B squared equals C, which is 13 squared. So 7 squared is 49 plus B squared. 13 squared is 169. And so now we're going to subtract 49 on both sides to get the B squared part by itself. And so I'm going to end up with B squared is equal to, this should be 120. So now, in order for us to find B, we need to take the square root of 120. And so I want you to notice the directions here. The directions say type an exact answer using radicals when needed. So what I need to do is I need to break down this number here, okay? So 120, I know I can break it down into, and how, when I'm breaking this down, guys, you can break it down however you want. I notice that it ends in a zero, so I know I can break it down into 10 and 12, and 10 is two and five, and 12 is say four and three, and then four is two and two, and so all these numbers are prime numbers now. I'm looking at the bottoms, right? And the square root means that I'm grouping in terms of two. I'm grouping in pairs. So what do we have a pair of? We have a pair of twos. So a two is going to come outside. Anything that I didn't pair up has to go back inside. Okay, so these twos came out, but two, five, and three were not paired up. So they have to go back inside. So we're going to multiply them. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. 